Matthew 11 is always one of my absolute favorite, which of course is that, uh, take your burdens upon me, for my yoke is light. It's always a reminder that when we approach the Lord, especially in moments of, of such profound divine life, that the Lord is with us. The Lord wants to make our lives not only fruitful and blessed, but to be smooth, to experience uh, perhaps the greatest uh, indulgence of work and love. I would say also that Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 20, that's not a well-known book of the Bible, but it's one of the times, of course, that the uh, ancient Israelites are faced again with persecution from uh, external forces. And they, he takes a moment as a prophet to say that even in situations where I truly do not feel the presence of the Lord, where there's famine and drought all consumed in the land, or if there are no herd among the stalls, if there's not that nourishment and support that we survive on here in such a, a desolate area, even then would I rejoice in the Lord. I would give the Lord everything I have as my rock, my fortress. It's a great, great opportunity. If you ever feel in grave distress or perhaps, you know, great busyness and tiredness, check out Habakkuk chapter 3 verses 17 through 20. I guarantee it's always one of the greatest scriptures to meditate upon. And then I would also say finally, uh, John chapter 8, which of course is that I am the light of the world. Everyone who comes to me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Uh, I think that every time I read and meditate upon that scripture, I'm immediately reminded of how blessed I am in receiving this vocation and call to priesthood, and just how wonderful it is as a Christian to uh, recognize that we have someone who will bring us to the Lord, someone who is always with us, and working every day to make us those fruitful instruments so we can rejoice forever in heaven.